Governor Sandoval did just give his last State of the State address. Some of the th key things that I took away include... The state of Nevada had a $900 million loan from the national government. This loan will be repaid in full by the end of the, this year, 2017. Today, we have a positive balance of $700 million in the fund, and by the end of the year, the loan will be repaid in full. The Connect Kids Initiative, which is dedicated to making sure that all students have access to internet across Nevada, $2 million is being dedicated yeah. to this project. The technology is a critical component of learning. Accordingly, we must act to ensure our students have access to broadband at school. Since 2011, 204 companies have been recruited to set up shop in Nevada. $14.5 billion in capital investment and accounted for 15,000 initial jobs, growing to 38,000 jobs within five years. Another important topic in the state of the state was the 10% tax that will be placed on marijuana. This tax will go entirely towards education initiatives. While I did not support it, I respect the will of the voters who did. As I mentioned earlier, my budget includes one new source of revenue, a 10% excise tax on all retail sales of recreational marijuana. The proceeds of this tax will be invested exclusively in education. Governor Sandoval commits to his relentless opposition to the Yucca Mountain Project. The remainder of my term, I will vigorously fight the storage of high-level nuclear waste in Nevada. Nevada is also distinguished as the only state ready for the future of esports. Efforts of the policy committee and gaming regulators, I'm proud to report that Nevada is the first and only state to allow wagers on esports. The state will also capitalize on having the largest lithium deposit in the country. The largest lithium deposit in North America is located in Humboldt County. We all know the significance of lithium to our emerging sectors in advanced manufacturing and renewable energy. And we know that mining is critical to the future of the new Nevada economy. With a better grasp of the governor's vision, we switch over now to the Democratic response. This is Rose Rose reporting from Carson City. Thank you, Rose. Andy Donahue taking over as Senator Ford affirms common goals. Measure. Nevada has made great strides in the economic recovery over the last few years. Our economy is more diverse and is creating more jobs than it was just a few years ago. Education funding continues to be contentious. The governor proposed allocating $60 million in his budget for a private school voucher program. We believe that this is the wrong priority for Nevada's kids. The weighted funding formula will ensure that our education dollars are allocated more fairly, particularly toward our most at-risk kids. We look forward to working with the governor on funding public schools, continuing the upward trajectory of Nevada's public school system, and giving parents more say and more choices within the public school system. For continuing coverage, look to Vegas Talk and NevadaNews.com.